Hey everyone, welcome to another tutorial on MYB Essentials. My name is Samuel Burmeister and I'm the owner of Tall Books. Today we're going to be doing a short tutorial on reconciliation and just covering a few things that we didn't go through on the last video. If you missed the last video, you can find that on my YouTube channel, which features how to allocate and match transactions. And today we're going to have a look at that in a little more detail. So first thing you need to know about essentials, like we talked about previously, is that it revolves around the bank feeds. So if you don't have bank feeds set up, make sure you at least import a statement. So going to the banking tab once again up the top and clicking on bank transactions, you will get a list of all of your transactions for the bank account you've selected, for the date range you've selected up the top here, and it will show you whether they have been allocated or matched or whether they are still requiring allocation. So a few things to cover here. The first thing you want to do is make sure you've gone through this entire list and you have matched or allocated every transaction here. Once that is done, generally your reconciliation is good to go and you've finished it. You just need to simply go to the reconciliation screen, which I'll show you in a moment and complete that reconciliation and print off a report. So before we do that, let's have a look here at an example of what to do if something has been allocated and you're not happy with it. So maybe another bookkeeper or the owner have made a mistake. There's nothing wrong with going in here and altering that on the spot. So for example, let's say this top transaction, Sydney expenses, has been allocated to other expenses, but you know that is the incorrect account. You can come over here and click the X next to that transaction, and that will automatically go back to allocate me. Now, simply select allocate me and choose a different account. Um, maybe in this case, we're going to Put it on something else we'll just call this sundry expenses for the example and there you go it's allocated to the other transaction the other way you can do this is simply clicking on the name itself and dropping it down to change it simple as that obviously once you have unallocated the transaction you have the option to drop down this arrow on the right hand side for more options so always remember that you can also leave a note. So this is very handy. Say you want to leave notes for the client. Um, you can say, well, this was for, save that. And so anyone that logged in will have that visible there below the actual transaction. So that one's quite simple. Um, in the advisor version as well, you'll have a little report up the top right hand corner here where you can send a list of all of these unallocated transactions. So simply selecting unallocated transactions, you can go up here and there will be a report that you can print. I'm in the demo version here, so it doesn't have it, but that is now available for partners as well. So very handy. Now let's go onto the bank reconciliation screen. So under banking, go to bank reconciliation, and this will bring up your typical reconciliation screen. So firstly, you want to select your account, in this case, doing the check account, and today's date or the final date of the bank statement, depending on how you're doing this. Now, the first thing we're going to have a look at is the little key here in the bottom left-hand corner. So Essentials uses little icons to tell you what status those transactions are currently sitting in. So the moment we've only got one transaction here sitting as unreconciled with a little pencil next to it. If you've got bank feeds set up, you will always see the green tick here, auto reconciled by MYB Essentials. Simply means it's come from the bank, it should be correct. If it's not, delete the transaction that you've manually entered. Maybe there's a duplicate because they've entered a transaction and the bank feed has come through. Delete the manually entered one and match the one that came through from the bank. 
So anything auto reconciled, it's not something to worry about. You simply need to go to that bank transaction screen that we were on and make sure you've matched or allocated that transaction correctly. In the case that you have unreconciled transactions, for example, something entered into the system that isn't on the bank feed, you can manually check that and it will adjust the balance up here. You should have the total unreconciled balance of zero. You can either save this um, to come back to at a later date, or you can print out the report and complete the reconciliation. Simple as that. So basically we've just covered the key in the bottom left-hand corner, showing you different types of transactions, how to reconcile, and most importantly, that everything revolves really around the bank transaction screen. Make sure once again, you have the correct option selected here. So maybe all transactions, if you want a good overview, the right date range and the right account. Everything in bank feeds revolves around the correct date, the correct account and the correct amount. And there you have it. That's reconciliation in MYV Essentials.